hi everyone so welcome to today's class so today we are not going to discuss any kind of subjective topic but today we are going to discuss um, how you can learn or how you can do certification for free okay how you can upgrade yourself or how you can stay current or how you can take a certification free okay so this is the topic so we will be covering that one before going to this topic so there is an information for you many of you have requested for interview questions right for uh, experience profile you have asked for interview questions so I have uploaded it uh, to LinkedIn you can just go there and check it or else I'll be uploading I'll be um, pinging the uh, like I'll be pasting the link in the first comment so just go there and check over there you can find the link to link for the document okay so you can get uh, topic wise for the topic wise you can get the questions uh, you can get it don't ask me for the answers okay so you have to search your answers you have to prepare your own answers okay so answer you have to prepare your own don't ask me for answers and uh, also I have given you multiple times I have provided you the answers in the MOOC interview so you, either you can go there you can search it either you can go to interview preparation classes and there you can find it okay don't ask me for the proper answers for it okay so it is your duty to find the answers and prepare on it okay so now let's move on to the topic so here there is a website called open SAP I believe most of you or some of you might have heard of it open SAP or uh, might not be have heard of it okay so today we are going to discuss about what is all about that website is how you can learn SAP from here so as you can see this is the main screen of the open SAP website or platform here you can see open online courses by SAP okay with complementary micro learning and post podcast okay so if you want to go for a let's say paid version of SAP learning then you can go to visit SAP's world uh, class site learning.sap.com here you can find uh, some of the open learnings also some of the let's say most of the things are in paid version so if you want to learn in a paid version you can go for it or most of the companies if you are working in a premier companies let's say any kind of MNCs if you are working then might be they will be providing you access for this learning.sap.com they will be providing some access okay so now here you can see there are some upcoming courses are there here you can see enroll today modernization modernize integration with uh, sap integration suite climate action and migrating data to s4 hana digital manufacturing these are some of the courses that are the upcoming courses so here you can find it okay now if we scroll down so we can see what is the open sap okay so basically open SAP you can read it so open SAP delivers innovative learning for everyone with expert led content made for you by SAP okay learning is lifelong and with our free online training available globally you can upskill wherever and whenever you need it okay so basically from SAP there will be industry leaders who will be providing you some of the courses for free okay so you can stay updated or you can stay uh, let's say you learn new things from here and you can stay updated with the SAP okay so now if we scroll down a little bit you can find here you can find the feature feature topics so analytics is there cloud solution is there continuous innovation is there digital transformation is there enterprise management is there and human resources industries sap business technology platform sap hana sap s4 hana social responsibility user experience so these are the topics are there okay so if you want to 
go for any kind of podcast also you can go for podcast also okay now let's see how we can stay updated with the courses or what are the courses that we can find it from here okay so you can click on the courses these are the current courses so you can find all of the current courses okay these are the upcoming courses you can view all the courses these are the self paced courses mean you can directly go there and you can learn by yourself okay so there are also self paced courses are also there you can go to there also now let's go to the upcoming courses okay so if you go here you can see there are courses will be there okay so these are the upcoming courses you can see introduction introduction to sap data sphere so most of the things will be relevant to you so all of the things are within sap only there is no course that is outside of sap so everything is inside sap but there is a lot of scope inside sap so you need to know which things you need to learn which things you don't you don't have to learn okay so before going to that one i would like to suggest like who can learn from it so let's say if you are already having a job okay so if you are already in sap you want to upskill yourself or you want to learn some new things then you can and you want to learn it for free on your free time then you can come here and you can learn so you can get the learnings from the industry best leaders okay so who are associated with sap so they are basically from sap they are in sap and they are the leaders of sap so they will be providing you the insight of sap let's say for the future current scenario what is coming up so they can provide you most of the information okay now here if we see we can see climate action with sap sustainability if it is required for you you can go for it mostly it is um it will be required for any kind of let's say um industrial activity or anything will be required for that one so here you can see migrating data to s4 hana as for hana cloud to public edition so this is also a very important part like right now s4 hana is coming as a s4 hana is uh, offering a cloud options so cloud options is there with uh, rise versions s4 hana with rise so there they are offering the cloud version with public edition also you can go with uh, private edition you can go with uh, hybrid solution also you can go okay so cloud is now it is coming like in sap it is right now we can say it is um like growing its uh, space in cloud so you can just learn what is there in the cloud space okay in the upcoming classes we will be discussing something related to the cloud or uh, related to the cloud softwares or something we will be going to discuss so uh, stay update uh, stay tuned for that one also okay and uh, uh, please do subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you can get the like upcoming notification also you will be getting okay so basically there are multiple things sap is going to introduce in the cloud section okay so just a hint for you like all of you might have known or all of you are thinking that sap is going to dilute its solution of sap wm into ewm that is not the truth that is not the whole truth there is a wm is there in the cloud okay so we will be discussing that one so stay tuned for that one who are already in the wm or who are learning the wm they are interested to continue with the wm or ewm please stay tuned we will be discussing on that one so here this is also a course for you migrating data to s4 hana to cloud version for public edition okay so here you can find one more thing that is migrating data to s4 hana using the migration cockpit okay so you might have heard about the lsmw you might have heard about the uh, let's say um, uh, L, um uh, you might have uh, heard about the ltmc right so you might have heard about any other data migration tools are there 
okay so this is a new thing that is getting introduced to s4 hana that is a migration cockpit you need to understand this one this is a very critical thing if you are going to work on any kind of let's say s4 hana project if it is a implementation project or if it is a rollout project you might to you might need to understand this scenario migrating data with using the migration cockpit so migration cockpit is getting added to the s4 hana so that is a very important topic and it is also a like upcoming courses you can join it you can see from september uh, 2023 to october 26 2023 the courses will be there so you can just enroll yourself okay so you can just enroll yourself and uh, how will be the course structure i'll be i'll be just uh, letting you know how will be the course how you can complete it okay i'll be giving you those kind of information also okay so here you can go to let's go to the dashboard so anything you are enrolling or any course you are enrolling that courses will be showing you over here let's say i have enrolled for these kind of courses so climate action with sap sustainability footprint management okay migrating data to s4 hana cloud migrating data to s4 hana using the migration cockpit okay so i have enrolled for these kind of courses and also these are the my current courses are there okay inside two selected logistics innovation uh, innovation in s4 hana okay gain experience with s4 hana logistics okay understanding the understanding and implementing the sap mobile experiences okay i have just enrolled for something so you can just find out relevant things okay this is gain experience with business partner of s4 hana uh, uh, conversion okay so sap ariba what is the sap ariba so you can get so everything related to your sap you can get a course here absolutely for free and you are getting a certificate for it okay so you are getting a certificate for it previously before three four years back i have done a certification on here um, but that email id is not here so it will not show you any certificate right now so basically you can add as much courses you want to learn it is free you can enroll yourself current courses future courses further coming courses anything you can learn from here and also you will be getting a certificate how you will be getting a certificate now next question is that one okay now if we go inside any of the courses okay let me just go inside this one so here you can see there is a page type of symbol is showing so it is basically the documentation basically these are the documentation next one here you can see a video symbol is there or your recorder symbol is there there will be a video will be for you okay so course content will be in video so you have to um, you have to uh, watch it you have to learn it okay then there will be a self test will be there for every unit there will be a self test so one learning one test one learning one test one learning one test okay so test will be there after the test there will be some assignment will be there okay so you have to complete the course you have to complete the test okay so test either you can you may be failing but you can reattempt no issues on that one okay i'm just clicking on this self test okay so you can select the answers okay you can select the answers right or wrong no issues on that one you can reattempt you can retake your self test self test is no i uh, means it is not having any issue you can retake it you can retake it till you are be, uh, you are able to um, give a correct answer but if you are learning it properly if you are going through the videos properly you will be getting the answers correct okay so you have to give the self test and you have to give all of this um, like all of this unit you have to complete after that you will be having a course assignment okay so course assignment 
you have to if it is a regular course so you have to give the course assignment in time let's say there will be some timelines will be there let's say this is for one week let's say this you can go to course details okay so here you can see duration is four week okay effort is seven to nine hours in total okay you can take the course assignment anytime while the course is open okay so while the course is open you can take the course assignment anytime but some courses for that one you have to give the uh, like the exam or course assignment whenever the timeline is let's say for every week there will be a uh, assignment will be there after completing so uh, let's say this week you have to let's say going to the learning let's say there are four uh, parts are there or four units are there so first unit you have to complete in one week okay so after one week you have to provide a assignment for that on whatever assignment is there you have to give it okay assignment is very important to pass to get a certificate definitely you have to have a minimum of 50 percent of mark in every assignment okay for every assignment you have to get minimum 50 percent of your answers these self test will be also helping you during the course assignment so mostly the self uh, course assignment questions will be coming from these self test kind of questions from here only it will be getting the questions from there so you can answer it properly okay if you are going to learn it properly then definitely you are going to score well and you can get a certificate so once the full course is completed and you have completed the course assignment then you will be getting a certificate okay where you can get the certificate so here you can get the certificate so here you can get the certificate so this certificate is also added to means you can add it to the credly like you are going for um, let's say any kind of global certification those certificates also you can fetch from the credly this certificates also you can fetch from credly and you can show it to anyone that i have completed this course okay so this certificate is very much valid okay so if you are going for any kind of uh, let's say migration or S4 HANA training or let's say business partner training or any kind of activate training any kind of trainings are there any kind of courses are there you can go and you can learn and you can get a certificate from here totally free of cost okay so I believe some of some of you might have heard about OpenSAP just ping me in the comments if you are already aware of this open SAP platform you have already done some certification from here just let me know in the comment section so that I'll be knowing like yes you are already in correct uh, platform and you know the places where we can learn SAP for free this is not about any kind of learning like SAP learning but it is very good platform to learn about the new techniques or new technology that is coming inside us so you can learn new things very much over here okay so that's it for today i believe it is helpful for you to learn new things so if you are interested then you can enroll for courses as much you like you can enroll yourself but if you are you can learn new things but if you are searching for a job better to search for a job in your free time you can give some time for learning okay but if you are already in uh, SAP profile if you are already in uh, working in SAP and you don't have any free sources of learning SAP or getting a certification then go for go with this one okay this certification will be also a good certification this is also you can write in your resume that I have done this certification on migration or any kind of things i have done you can just mention i have on my free time i have learned this kind of things okay this is also a very valid source of getting a certificate on sap okay so that's it for today we'll meet up again with some more topics till then bye bye and take care